because this is what he felt like this is what what is what he needs to be done what, what is, why does it need to be done if he's seen this in the first place sorry he is a good example for so us. he's an example that he was a sinner then no. then he was sinless afterwards show me, show me one verse in the bible or the quran where jesus sinned no, 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 no. You can't appeal to the Quran. Why? Because you don't believe Prophet Muhammad you, you is just, a true prophet. Let, let, let me tell you why. No, you, you started with the Quran. I didn't. No, you started. You, you, you asked me what I know about the Quran. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Then just, I asked you. Just then check, I, checking yeah. me out if I was yeah. telling the truth that I've read yeah. the Quran. Then I, no, no, no. The reason why you cannot appeal to the Quran because you do not accept Prophet Muhammad as a true prophet. Whereas we as Muslims, we can use the Bible. Do you know why? We already affirm all the prophets, including Jesus, peace be upon him, right? So you cannot appeal to the Quran to substantiate your beliefs. It doesn't make sense. Unless with the presupposition that you do believe that Muhammad is a true prophet, then you can use the Quran. Why, why do you use a book which you, which you believe is full of errors? No, because the Quran, see, here's a lot of misconception, right? When we Muslims quote from the Bible, the Bible and I think it's very important as a disclaimer for all Muslims, yeah? When we quote from the Bible to converse with the Christians, it does not mean that we, 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 that we affirm or negate anything. Any so the Quran mentions in chapter 5 verse 48, the Quran is a muhaymanin, is a muhaymanin over the previous scriptures. What does muhaymanin mean in Arabic? It means like a quality control, right? Because we do affirm that there were, there were revelations given to Moses and Jesus, peace be upon him. However, by the passage of time, they've been corrupted, right? It's lost in history, okay? Now, just because it's corrupted, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't find any truth in it. But what we do use as Muslims, we use the Quran as our, our, as our criteria as our quality control why because we this is our trustworthy source so anything that agrees with the bible this portion of the bible we've got no problem to accept why because there may be some remnants of truth there may be some remnants of truth in the bible for example jesus says in in the gospel of mark chapter 12 verse 29 a man approached jesus and asked him good master what is the greatest commandment and jesus says hero israel the lord our god the lord is one yes and you shall love him will you? yes the shema which is exactly what moses came in chapter 6 verse 4. so I don't know if you're a Trinitarian. Are you Trinitarian? Yes, of course. So, does this does this verse support Trinity? First of all, let me go back because I want to, don't want to miss this. You just um, there's there's a verse in the Quran. Correct me if I'm I can I can I can oh. search it for you, where it says that if, if Muhammad uh, the, the, the the prophet if he is uh, in doubt about this revelation, he has to check it with the previous scripture. So you misconstrued. No, you quoted no. from Surah Sur Sur Yunus chapter number ten, verse number ninety-four. I know this. So let me give you the context. Have you read the context before and after? Of course. So what is the context? Do I know this by heart? No. So why are you quoting it without knowing the context? I have read it back then. No. See, see, see. No, no. You are now making that claim and you cannot speak without knowledge. Even from our religion, we cannot speak without knowledge. Why? Do because you want it, to read it out? A ask, you read it out. You're the one that made the claim. You, what is the no, context? No, the I just, context I just was. I asked you, and yeah. this is what it says that, that uh, if. Yakra ule kitab mi qablik. Yes, I know that. I know, if, I know. If, if you tell me the. No, 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 you, no, no, no. I, I didn't know even the. No, the, the you, you, you no, you quoted, you yes. quoted that. Doesn't it say in the Quran that Muhammad was told, if you're in doubt, go to people of the book? You're making the claim, and I'm just saying that, look, I know the verse. But I want you to verify how you understood it. And have you read the context before and after? Yes, of course. Okay, so what is the context before and context after? I have to read it now to get it. Get okay, it. go on, read it. Read it. So what is what is uh, what is the verse? What is the Chapter verse? ten, verse ninety-four. But if you read the context, read it before beforehand and after. And it gives you the answer. You don't need to tell Christians this. This is, this is what we do for our daily. So living. why weren't so why can't you substantiate the context? Because the Quran is long. No, 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 no. The Bible is and long. I've so what? Uh, if I, if I, if I, if I, uh, so what? Uh, if I miss, if I misquote it from the Bible, what kind of excuse I'm making? Uh, the Bible is long. If I'm going to quote from the Bible, so, I should know the context before and after, right? Yes, context is king. Yes. Yeah. So why do you know the context before and after? So then tell me what is context. No, 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 no. You, you tell me what is the context. It's not on me. It's not on me. You see, I'm we just, as Muslims. I'm just, I'm just yeah. giving you a free pass to tell me. No, that you I'm said you've read the whole Quran, so you should know the context before and after. Yes, but I don't know every single verse and the context. I didn't say every it. verse. You're the one. Look, look. Did I did I first make the claim, or did you make the claim? I just, I just, you made the claim. Doesn't it say in the Quran that if you're in doubt, yes, I go asked, to the people I of the scripture. You about this, right? yeah? I asked you about this. But I know that I know the context. But it's not upon me to I tell you what's the you, context. I unless you a free pass, so go ahead. No, 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 no. First of all, why are you quoting it without knowing the context? I have read back then. No, no, no. Because what you're doing, right? You are now what you call. You are now isolating the verses, and no. this is not this is not genuine. And let, let me tell you why. This is not genuine. If I quoted. If I quoted um, in, uh, I forgot which gospel it is, 
Jesus says that, uh, you know, uh, that I've come here to separate the, 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 the mother from the son, the son from the father. Right? If, I, if, I, if I quoted this in an isolated context, what would you say? Wouldn't you demand for me to ask you, to ask me what is the context? See, what you, exactly, when it says, Jesus says that I've not come to, I, I've come to spread uh, peace, I, I've not come to spread peace. Yes. Yeah, so do you know there's a context behind it? Yes. Yeah, so if I quote you from that, I then, then you, what? I gave you just free reign to tell me if this is not true, what I've just said. No, 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 no. So you, you see, you see, you've got to be very careful when you interact with people because yes. if you did that in your workplace, and you make the claim, and you cannot substantiate any evidence or anything like that, right? You know what the boss will tell you? They will tell you you are slandering, or you are, or you're not, you're not giving me complete evidence, complete proof. Do you know how we should deal the the Muslims and and, and, and the Christians? Allah says in the Quran, "Qul ya ahl kitab," say all people of the book. Ta'alu ila kalimatin sawa'in bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. What is the first term? Allah na'bud illallah. That we worship none but Allah, and we do not associate any partners with Him. And when Jesus makes very clearly that from your natural inclination, you know that there is one God, correct? Right. So this one God, is he one and only? Yes. Is he independent, self-sufficient? Yes. He, he begets not, nor is he begotten? Yes. And there's nothing out unto him? There is nothing comparable unto him. There's nothing like him. There's nothing like him. Okay. So let's see. If you affirm these four uh, definitions of God, Jesus does not meet that. Why? Because Jesus was he self sufficient? He is the eternal God the Son. Huh? Jesus has eternally coexisted with You know what self sufficiency means? Self sufficiency. That he doesn't allow anybody else. Did, did Jesus need the Father? One God, one, one, one being, God, three persons. No. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even scooching to like the Trinity. I'm just talking about why you believe Jesus is God. Because if you agree with the. You know what you agreed with me? It's what Allah says in the Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد say he is Allah one and unique Allah who summed Allah the self sufficient the master the one whom everyone depends upon but he doesn't depend upon anything لم يلد ولم يولد he begets not nor is he begotten ولم يكن له كفوا or there's nothing out unto him now if you say Jesus is God does he meet the criteria was he self sufficient did he did he used to drink like us Yes, of course. Was he breastfed by his mom? Yes. And I mean, you believe God? The Bible, needs... the Bible yeah. talks about this. No, no, no. Forget about, about, about the Bible. Look, look, you are gone. Go. I tell you why. Because no, if you the New Testament talks yeah. about how Jesus yeah. laid aside his privileges yeah. and entered into his creation. Yeah. What you're doing right now is scripture reasoning. What I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to get to you is what we call fitra. Is your is your human nature? Your natural instinct will tell you. Look, it doesn't make sense that God becomes a baby and gets breastfed by his mom. You know that from natural inclination. Yeah. You know that. Yeah? Yes, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But then you, what, why do you affirm that Jesus was God? Because you use the scripture. But I'm telling you from your fitra, from your natural inclination, from your human instinct, you know that whoever created this universe is all powerful, all knowledgeable. Yes, but he's also merciful. He's all merciful. Yes, Ar-Rahman, yes. Ar-Rahim. In fact, I know. Okay. I know, this. Yeah. I know that every, almost, almost every surah starts like that. That's it. Good, I've, good. I've read it. Good. Okay. So now, now, now I want to ask you this question. If you agree with the understanding of Allah in Islam, that he's one and only, one and unique, he's, uh, nothing, nothing can rival unto him, no one can be like unto him, that he is independent, self-sufficient, eternal, yeah, and he's not born, he doesn't produce offspring, right? Why do you still, why do you still crush your belief that Jesus is God? He doesn't meet those criteria. Because the Bible as a whole, from beginning to end, actually forces the doctrine of the Trinity on us. It is not something that we come up with. Yeah. It is something that you can read from from Genesis yeah. all the way down to the to the last book of the Bible. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. Yeah. We we, we have something called Tawheed. Tawheed means the, 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 the Tawheed. Okay. What do you know about Tawheed? Tawheed is the one of God. Okay. How, how do we define Tawheed from the Quran and the Sunnah, from the, from the teachings of Allah and the teachings of the Prophet? Tawheed. My definition that I know that I have read is yes. that Allah is God. No, but Jews also say one, you also say one. Yes, yes. And yeah, you know, but they're not identical. And you, and you know what Trinity means. It's one being, one God, and three persons in the Godhead. So that's not that, that's not Tawheed. No, that's Trinity. So you so you affirm that it's not one God? It is one God. Okay, if I say I don't know if you're Christian as well, I don't know. Are you Christian as well? Okay, fine. When I said about the fact that from my natural inclination, you know that God is all powerful and he's all knowing and God, God, does not, uh, God, uh, God doesn't need 
his creation. She nodded. You know why? It agreed with her natural inclination. This is what it's like. Okay, when I said to you, when I said to you that it doesn't make sense from your human instinct, from your natural inclination, that God can become a man and then he gets breastfed, breastfed by his mother. You yes. know that. And she nodded. Why? Because, I, I, wait, no, no, I, let me tell you why. I, I agree with this. Yeah. Sorry, what's your name? What's your name? Matthias. Matthias, right on. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Go on. But I agree with this. Yeah. This doesn't make sense because God, if he created this entire universe, yes, yes. and he sees what a mess we have made out of this world. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've traveled around the world. I've seen a lot of places. Brilliant, brilliant. And I, I can see how, how utterly despaired or how sad God must be about what we human beings have done to this planet, okay. to us, to us uh, human beings. And to me, the, the thing which would, would make sense the most is God just wiping us off, killing every human being on this planet. This would make sense because we are creation. We are supposed to, to image God, to mirror his radiance that he is holy and perfect and glorious. We are, this is our purpose in life. We are supposed to, to image this, to reflect this into creation. We are not doing this. We are actually rebelling against God. And what is, I mean, if, if I, what is it? Okay. If I, if yeah. I would create yeah. something no, no. and it doesn't fulfill its pur purpose, yeah. Yeah. What, what do we do with it? If there is a car, it's not, it's not running anymore. What do we do with it? Yeah. This is what we're doing. Yeah. God, this is my, what, what I would do, my natural inclination. Yeah. But as I said, God is not only just and he is uh, logical, he is also merciful. Yeah. And this is I why he has, he has sent his son to die for our sins on the cross. No, but what, okay, fine, I don't, okay, okay, we, we can go there, but, I'm, but do you agree that there is only one who is worthy to be worshipped? Yes. That this God is one and only his... One God, yes. No, okay, wait, 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 yeah, but you got a different understanding of one, but I want to yes. affirm from you, yeah? So you believe that there is one and unique, one and, one and only, yeah? Not one in three, not one in two. That's what it means, Ahad. In Arabic, Ahad means not only one in numerical, one in, quanti uh, in quality, meaning nothing like unto him, unique. Because in, in the Arabic language, in the Arabic, before the Quran was revealed, the word Ahad was always used for negation. But Allah, he, he's calling himself Ahad in a positive sense. That's one of the miracles of the Quran. Like grammatically speaking, this is beyond. This goes against the uh, beyond the convention of the Arabic language, right? So, do you agree that one Allah is one and unique, and nothing can rival unto Him? Okay. Now, do you know what shirk means in Islam? Yes. What is shirk? The unforgiveness surah five seventy two. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good. So, what, what is the definition of shirk? that you associate partners with Allah. Right. So what you're doing as a Christian, with all due respect, what you're doing is, you are associating partners with God. You believe that? I no, no, it's not that. about question of belief. It's a question of evidence. Because when I say that nothing, you cannot associate partners with God, you have associate partners with God. Because you partnered Jesus with the Father. You partnered the Holy Spirit with the Father in divinity. So you have. No. This is, as I said, doctrine of the Trinity. One God, one being. And three persons in life. Okay, so do you, okay, when you say one God, according to the Islamic understanding, do you agree? According to the Islamic understanding of Tawheed, the oneness of God, do you agree with that? That we should single him out in his lordship, that he's the only provider, the only creator, the one who controls us, the one who sustains us, right? And that we should worship him alone. We don't need intercessors. When we need help, we call him for help. He's the only one that can cure us. We don't need intercession between his creation and him. Allah says in the Quran that if you call upon me, I respond to you. For I respond to the call of the caller. This is one of Allah's attributes, Al-Mujib. He is the responder. Allah, we do not need an intercessor. Even with the Prophet, we don't need intercessor with the Prophet. If I, if I, if I want a direct connection with Allah, the creator of us, my Lord who created me, who sustained me, then what is the question? How would the creation help me? The creation can neither benefit you nor harm you. And Jesus, peace be upon him, was a creation of God. Yeah. And Allah says in the Quran, Inna mathal Isa in the Allahi kamathali Adam, khalaquhu min turab, thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. In Surah 3, Ayah 59. Allah says, indeed, the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam. He created from dust and he says, being it is. So Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created his creation in different ways to demonstrate his power. 
So he created Adam without a mother and father. He created Eve from the river of uh, Adam. He created uh, Jesus without a mother good father. And he created all of us with a mother and father. That does not mean that Adam is God. That does not mean that Jesus is God. That does not mean that Eve is God. It's just demonstrated God's power. He is able to diversify his creation. And Allah is the only one who provides me, who gets, sustains me, who keeps me alive. Let me ask you this question. If I was to give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? It doesn't mean, of course, if God creates something miraculously, that this person is, 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 uh, is God. Yeah, yeah. But the Bible, the whole of the Bible, read, read how many people testify about Jesus, about his divinity. It's just, that's not just that, like this one argument which I hear all the time from Muslims. Go on, go on. That, that, for example, show me where in the Bible Jesus said, says, I'm God or worship me. And then I'm ready to accept Christianity. I will only use that. This, uh, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. This is, this is something Matthew, which, which, yeah, which doesn't on. make sense. You just have to use context, of course. If, if Jesus claims things uh, about himself, which only God can claim, for example, that he uh, can forgive sins, for example, yeah? This makes, of course, the case that he that he that he claims to be God. And there are many of those passages, okay? and we as Christians, okay. this is another point you made. Um, we as Christians, we believe we need an intercessor, okay? because we ourselves we cannot come to God. We are sinful human beings. You, everyone here, and we believe that we cannot make up for our sins. We cannot do like enough good good things and like. Take pay a cut or, or pray or, or do anything mm. which can uh, negate or uh, make up for our sins which we have, which, which we have um, committed. In the Bible, it is from from the beginning, from the from the Torah, it says that there is blood that needs to be shed for, for, for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, and but that, that's more, is, that's more to do with salvation. But I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the oneness of God. How can you yes, how, yes. how how can you how can you reckon, how can you reconcile Tawheed with Trinity? That's what you're trying to do. No, no, I, I'm not. I'm not affirming Tawheed. You just did because when I quoted from Surah Ikhlas that there is one and unique, that he is independent, self-sufficient, that he doesn't give he doesn't produce offspring. He's not born. There's nothing. There's nothing like unto him, right? Jesus doesn't meet any of these criteria. So you so you cannot eat cake you cannot eat uh, you cannot bite the cake and not eat it at the same time right either you believe that there is only one god alone who deserves to be worshiped who deserves to be called for help that we don't need any intercessors right the creation of god is dependent upon the creator jesus was dependent upon the creator right do you agree with that okay. jesus was dependent upon the father according to you the Bible says so, yes. Yeah. But, so, but the Bible also explains we, what, what this means. Yeah, are we dependent upon the upon God? Yes, of course. Okay. So if Jesus, if he used to if he used to eat and drink like us, and he used to go to the toilet, go to a restroom, how can he attribute this to it all perfectly? God entered his creation. Huh? God entered his creation. And Jesus laid beside his privilege. Right. If God okay, if God enters into his creation. Then that diminishes his attributes of all powerful, all knowledgeable people. No, he said, he said, it's not that he, he couldn't have had it. It's like, I don't want to, to make a stu stupid comparison. Go on. But it's like if you have, you have a car and you're not using it, you're saying, okay, I'm, I'm, I have this privilege, I could use it, but I'm not doing it. Okay. okay? Might sound stupid, but it's the best, best way I can describe But there's a difference between what God is and what God does. So God will yes. not do things that does not that does that's not befit His Majesty. That's, that's why that's why I said it's like in, in uh, comparison analogy with, which doesn't quite okay. Quite okay. Fit. okay, go on, go on. So I'm not quite sure what, where we left. <laughs> go on, go carry on, carry on, carry on. But for me, it's um, you know I I don't I don't like to discuss this topic of the. Tawbeat versus Trinity. Do you know, do you know why that's important? I've listened, yes, I know. And I've listened to lots of debates about this. Okay. For example, the debate, uh, the debate between Shabir Ali and uh, Nabi Qureshi. Maybe okay. you have heard it. I know Nabi Qureshi and Shabir Ali, yes. You know, yes. Scholars debate about this for hours and hours, and they don't come to a conclusion. For me, it is more. I, like, I want to come to a conclusion. You, you <laughs> made it, okay? I want to break it down for me to a level where I can understand it, and everybody can understand it. Okay, it's very simple. This is, this, is where, this, is where, this is where I was just talking to your friend, and I was just um, quoting this one proverb in Germany we have it. Go. If you, if you lie once, I cannot trust you. Okay? 
and this is why I just brought it down to this level where I just um, uh, in, the, in the Quran, Muhammad says that he's prophesied from the Torah. And your friend was making all this, this story about, okay, you don't have the Torah today. But the Quran says that Muhammad was prophesied from the Torah. But do you have a pro okay? Do you have a problem that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, preached the oneness of God? Do you have a problem with that? Why do you come back to that? No, like, I tell you. What, no, no. Do you know why that's very important? If I was to ask you a simple question, yeah. If I want to, if you, if if you want to buy a gift for your mother. Are you going to buy a gift based on what you love or based upon what she loves? Based, if you want to buy a gift for your mom, yes. would you buy a gift based upon what you love or based upon what she loves? What she loves. Okay, why? Because I love her. You love her, but how, how do you express your love? Doing, doing, doing things which are pleasing to her. Right, good. So, because, because that is objective love, right? So we should worship God the way how he wants not the way yes, how we yes, want right yes, so yes. what i'm telling you you cannot so therefore worship means you obey him yes. that you love him yes. and that you do not and, and when you are in need of help you call to the creator yes exactly yeah okay so that's the point right so how can you what you're doing right now if you if you acknowledge that jesus is a human being like us that jesus uh, uh that jesus depends upon god then th isn't that showing your form of ungratefulness to the, to the one who created you? Going, you are going back to the Trinity. Debate, Tawhid, Trinity. No, I'm not even talking about Trinity. Does, I'm not, I'd even bring the... No, I'd even... No, no, no. First of all, I'm not even bringing up the Holy Spirit. Yeah? I'm not bringing about three in one, one in God. I'm just saying from your human instinct. If I was to give you... if I, Look, for example, if you're thirsty. If you're thirsty, yeah? From my goodwill, I will give this bottle of water to you. You're thirsty. Let's say afterwards... You show, you show your gratitude to him. You show your gratitude to him. You worship him. But you don't worship the one who gave you water in the first place. This is exactly what you're doing. Instead of, instead of worshipping the creator alone, you associate partners with the creator. It's your understanding. Do you worship no. Jesus? Yes, of course. Yes, okay, course. when you worship Jesus, why is he you're, worth you're it to be worshipped? You're coming back to the Trinity and the, and, the, and the divinity of Christ. Because that's the foundation of all beliefs. That's the difference between... That's the difference between... Look... There are so many uh, walks of life. You have liberalism, you have, uh, what do you call it? you have uh, other movements, uh, fascism and Nazism, right? Yes. But do you only think that theology is the most important yes. to solidify? Yes. Right. So let's solidify that first. What I'm asking is a very simple question, yeah? Do you think you're showing great gratefulness to the one who sustains you, who given you food and drink? Absolutely. But you are associate partner with Jesus. Listen, I've, I've just talked to, uh, to your friend. I don't know if you if you listen to this. How I read the Quran, and yeah. how I stopped reading the Quran yeah. because I noticed I was doing it for the wrong reason. Did you hear this? Uh, no, you you got to fill in the gap. Okay, I, I will fill in the gap for you. So I started reading reading the Quran as a Christian, mm. and I was doing it with a, with a purpose, with a goal to disprove Islam. Okay. So I started reading the Quran, and at some point I realized, okay, what I'm doing here is, is wrong. Because if there is a creator, if there is God out there, who created this entire universe, which I believe, is, yeah, yeah, of course. evidence is all around us. Of course, of course. Then I want to know him. Because in the end, no matter what I want to believe, in the end the truth will stand before me. Or I will stand in front of the truth. You agree? And so I stopped and I thought, okay, this is what I'm doing here. It's not right. I, I want to, yeah. and I prayed, God, if you are in this book in the Quran, I want you to reveal yourself to me. I prayed this. What do you mean reveal yourself? You, you, you believe that the Quran is the revelation of God, right? Yes, of course. Yes. And so if there is truth in this book, I prayed, God, if you are in this book, reveal yourself to me. Through your, through your revelation. Okay, yeah, 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 go on. And I started to read it again, from the beginning. Okay, so I have read parts of the Quran even two times. Part of it in German, part of it in English. But for me, I'm, I'm grateful to God. I'm, I want to please Him. I want to go wherever the evidence is. Do you think He'll be pleased that you are worshipping His creation? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm the only one who is, who is um, worthy of praise and worship is God. No, no, no. I'm, I'm praising no, no, God. But no, no, you believe the Father is God as well as Jesus. Jesus is the Son and He is God. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Talk but, to the but, but, but hang on. <laughs> See, this is the problem, you're, yeah? You're coming back to the Trinity. No, 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 this is the problem. This is the problem, yeah? Even though if my mother feeds me and put nappies and changing nappies, right? I respect her for that. 
but I do not deify her. Why? Because the one who created my mother is more merciful to his creation than the mother towards me. So do you not think that I should show all my gratefulness, all the praises? We say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All the praises, all the thanks only belongs to Allah. Why? Rabbil Alameen. All of my praise, all of my worship goes to God alone. So I don't, I don't, why is I don't, Jesus worthy to be worshipped? I don't praise anything in this life. Why is Jesus worthy to be worshipped? Because he's God. No, no, you can't do it because he's God. Why is he worthy to be worshipped? Because he's God. No one is saying why, Jesus is God. Why is he God? Because the Bible says so. But you agree with the Quranic definition of God and Jesus doesn't meet the criteria. And now you're appealing to the Bible. I don't, I don't know if I... Sorry, maybe, maybe it's also the language barrier. No, 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 no. English, English is not my no, first no, no. language. I think no, no, no. Your English is very good. Look, let me tell you this. It's very simple. Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ Say he is Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is our Lord who created us, who provided us, right? And he sends his countless blessings to the whole universe, to his other creation. And that we worship him alone. And I call upon him for help. And he's the only one who cures me, right? Allah is the one who is only worthy to be, to be worshipped, the creator. Why? Because he sustains me. He created me, right? Jesus did not create me. My mother didn't create me. The Bible says yeah? that he created you. Huh? The Bible says that he created you. Right. The Bible, look, look, look. I'm not even talking about the Quran. Do you know why I quote from the Quran? Do you know why? Because I, I say Islam is the only religion that aligns your sound intellect with your natural inclination. What happened right now? Yes, because it's human thought. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not human thought. It's intuitive knowledge. You know from what is, you, what is the difference? Right. The intuitive knowledge meaning that God has given you certain knowledge that everyone recognizes. It's called universal proof, universal knowledge. For example, from your natural inclination, you know that if somebody bashes up a child's head, you know that's wrong. You don't have yes, to. Of course. Yeah, but if somebody asks you why is it wrong, you just say because it's wrong. You don't. No, you don't because, need to justify. No, because God has wired this on your heart. Good, good, good. That's what I'm saying, right? So every created thing. It, within it is a proof that it points to the Creator. Okay. Now, if Jesus, if he was born, God is God born? Was he born? God entered into his creation. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you is a very simple question. You're coming. You're, you're coming. No, no, no. You're coming back to this topic. Let me establish the point. No, no. Let me establish the point. This is very important. What is the greatest commandment according to Jesus? You want me to quote from the Bible now, yeah? What does Jesus? What What did Jesus say? Uh, the greatest commandment. To love God. No. Do you want to open up Mark chapter 12 verse 29? Because everyone says love God. But how do you love God? Let's see. Let's see. If you go to Mark chapter 12, every Christian I've interacted here, I asked them, what is the greatest command that comes to Jesus? They said, love your God with all your heart. I said, you didn't quote the first part. Let alone the Quran. You want, let, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Mark chapter 12 so before before you read this to me can yeah. we agree on one thing yes go on. like you have you have now gone again and again this, the direction of divinity of god and trinity can i then share with you after this the reason why i came yeah i mean look when i converse with the atheists and agnostics right i don't need the quran i don't need the quran the quran is a revelation that that connects to your fitna, is to your this, natural is, instinct. Is this, yes. I don't need to look when when you see me converse with the atheist, I don't use the Quran. But the beauty about Islam is all of the arguments that I'm putting forth to the atheist, the Quran connects with your fitrah. So I don't need the Quran. Whereas you Christians on the other hand, you need the Bible to prove them. Because the Trinity, no human being was born to believe that the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, these three are one. We believe that Islam is dinner fitr. The Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he said that every child is born upon the innate uh, disposition to recognize as the Creator, but his parents make him a Jew or a Christian or a fire worshiper. Right? When I say uh, to believe in the Creator, it, what we say is every child was born as a Muslim. A Muslim, I'm not talking about from a Shari'i perspective, from a technical uh, term, like you believe in Prophet Muhammad, you believe the five pillars of Islam, no. When I say every child is born as a Muslim, from linguistic perspective, they submit to the Creator. However, because of the environment, because of their parents, they make him a Jew or Christian or fire worshipper. And there was an extensive study that was done by Justin Barrett from Oxford University, and they've invested this in, in, in millions of pounds, right? What they did is they brought, they got uh, kids from 
uh, you know, for, when they were born, they put them into an island. So that means they weren't, ex ex there were no external influence, right? By the time they reached the age of three, all of children, all of the kids, they start questioning their existence. The rivers, the mountains, the trees, they say, look, we know that humans didn't build giraffes or humans didn't build rivers and rivers, right? In, in right. Disputed. Right, in disputed, yes. right? So from their natural inclination, they believe that there has to be the creator that is all-knowing, all-powerful. Now, no child is born to believe that any of his created thing deserves to be worshipped or is God. No one. Yes, I'm not quite sure why you're telling me this. The reason because, why I'm, the reason why I'm telling you, right, that, but here's the thing, you're now conflicting with your scriptural reasoning. Because now you have to use the Bible to substantiate that. 